Hey, what is up? Getting ready to do an update. The Mustang, have not done anything with it for a while. I only drive it maybe once a week or so. Uh, the way it sits now, I've had to keep the uh, turbo wastegate set for just 7 PSI, the lowest spring that I have for it, because it was been running out of fuel. The 30 pound fuel injectors were not enough to go any higher than that. So now I've got some 42 pounders that I'm going to be swapping in right now. So I've got the fat body 30s in there. And I got them used off of eBay. Never had a lick of trouble with them. I drove the car for like a year with those before I even put the turbo on it. So idled great everything. So these are supposed to be like cleaned and reconditioned or whatever. I don't think they're new. Got a good deal on them. So I'm going to give these 42 pounders a shot. See how it goes. Hey, here's one of the injectors taken out of the wrapper. Everything seems to be pretty new on there. New seals. I mean, they look like brand new injectors. <laughs> There's not even any marks on the uh, terminals. I thought I was buying reconditioned ones, but maybe I bought actual new ones. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. So I got the... Uh, Here's the ones that were in there. Those fat body orange 30 pounders. This is supposed to be a standard spray pattern because this is just a two valve um, 4.6 liter. It's not the newer four valve one. I'm gonna throw those in and then grab the Surface Pro tablet out, and change the tune for the injectors, and see what happens. Yeah, that only took about 10 minutes. Just got to put my intake tube on and be ready to drop the tune. So I've never seen green injectors before. So. Not on a Ford anyway. This engine's got about 180,000 miles on it. Okay, got the intake tubing back together now here's where the magic is made take out the 7 psi little wuss spring put in the 11 psi spring i wish i had like a 12 or 13 because 4 psi is not a lot more you can combine the two so i have a what is it? I have a small red. That's nine. I only have three springs. It came with two in order. Another one. So if I were to put the seven in there with it, that would make it be about 18 psi. But I think that might be too big of a jump to do right away. These springs are easy enough to change, so I'll just bump it up to 11 for right now. Okay, I just blindly threw in some uh, fuel injector specs: 42 for the high slope and 45 for the low slope. It's usually a little higher than the rating for the low slope, such as the wild gas. Just a little rich. So. This run so pig rich and idle. So I dumped in the settings for the injectors, the low slope out, but I haven't done the other offsets. So I'm running like 11 to 1 um, at idle. And it seems to be okay off idle. I did one dad log already. Yeah, it was pretty close. Just babying it, and there's definitely no hiding the fact that this thing is not stock. <laughs> Shift in a second. Seventy miles an hour. <laughs> I pretty much just uh, grunted it in a second. You know, like twenty miles an hour, fifteen miles an hour. <laughs> Tires, of course, spinning mile per hour of the car catches up. First gear, of course, always spins. <laughs> Just 
spinning the whole time right there too. Just enough <laughs> fill trim tables like crazy. Not exactly what you want to rely on.